So here's a quick one. Uh, we are told to say uh, show that the constant function f of x is equals to um, is equals to c. It's just a constant function f of x equals to c is uh, periodic with any period but has no fundamental f uh, period. So this question has answered itself, okay? And you're going to see why I'm saying it has answered itself. Um, this right here. Is periodic with any period. It has answered itself. It's just a matter of us doing the writing the math and the like. Okay, so now uh, we are given a constant function f of s f of x is equals to c. It can be a one, two, or anything. Okay, is equals to c. Okay, so this is actually periodic uh, if f of x plus p, which is our period, is equals to um, f of x okay so now we have been talking about this for quite some time now but in this case we have to do what we have to check okay we have to do the checking so uh, in this case since we are given the constant function f of x is equal to c okay we are going to say f of x plus p this is going to be equals to what this is going to be equals to c everything that I'm writing here has been mentioned in, the, in this statement that we have okay so uh, if this is true here this simply means we can also write this as f of x is equal to c which is something that I've already written on top there okay so this is actually very true okay and everything that I'm writing as I've said it has been stated in the question in the statement rather okay so this is true and um, we can tell from this that f of x plus p which is equals to c is actually always equals to that that we have there okay so what else can you um, uh, what else can you can you talk about to make sure to say this makes uh, a lot of sense because what we are trying to say here is that uh, for any positive value of p Okay, for any positive value of p, looking at the arrangement that we have, because even if you have f of x plus p is equals to f of x, this tells us that for any positive value of of p, okay, this here is um, that there has uh, that there has some. If if you look at it in terms of a constant, it doesn't have a unique. Um, it doesn't have a unique doesn't have a unique period okay so looking at the constant function this being true because I said show that the constant function f of x is equals to c is periodic with any period so now the idea is about being unique I want you to see it this way it's about being unique and we don't have a unique uh, period in this case for all for all values of for all values of x okay for all possible values of x there is some period p but what makes this not to have a fundamental period is because at this stage i've already shown that this has a period of what has a period of p then by you understanding to say um uh, by you understanding to say for any positive value of p okay f of x is equal to that okay f of x is equal to that and looking at you talking about any Okay, it tells you to say there is no unique, there is no uh, unique period. Hence, it tells you to say there is no fundamental period, and that's all you need. So that's basically how we um, answer such a question.